birthday to me. It's my birthday, y'all. Birthday month, September. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to me. And I say, thank you, Lord, for another year of life. I give you all the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. I love my balloons. They're so cute. You're never too old for balloons. Remember that. As we're about to go in and get our pedicure, oh no, manicure. Um, manicures, like two manicures. Two manicures? Yep. And two pedicures too, or just two manicures? Mm. My nails are, they messed up. I just googled y'all, cause y'all. What shape do you like? A round? Uh, round. Yeah, you can do round. round. Yeah, <laughs> round. Yeah. Very short. Yeah, I always mm -hmm. like round. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's like the natural yeah. shape of my nail. <laughs> are done they look beautiful thank, thank you, you. <laughs> hey you guys we got a new game from Costco called I've never played it well I played it once when my husband he was trying to teach me so this is probably the second time called is it called Mancala Mancala wood board game so it's pretty fun And it's, I don't know how to explain it, but my husband knows how to explain it. I think, did I win the last time or you won? Nobody won. Nobody won? How? Yeah, we all had back our houses. Four. Four. Take it off. Yeah. Is this yours? Yes. Take it off. How is it mine and I'm not because, playing? Because you, I got it for you. Uh, you is this on my side? Yeah, it's on your side. I don't, I don't understand the game. That's how it is. Take yeah. it to you. You change the rules you every you time. Rule. How I'm winning and you're playing. Take you want another one. Are you playing for me? No, that's how it is. That's how the game works. But why? Because it's my side of yeah, the board. Yeah. Oh, okay. So I'm like, then no, I've ended. So you start. So oh, you can basically won the game for me because I don't have anything over here, and you have all of them on your side. So oh, maybe not.
Okay, go to the next one. Mm -hmm. Now what? I told you. I got this. I blew. What was that? Was that it's, four? Yeah, four. Okay, I put four on it. So, okay, I see what's going on now. You don't have anything. Uh -huh. That doesn't seem... <laughs> I think you're just making up rules and cheating. Hey, you guys. So, my husband's... Um, I got this from Amazon. It's a dresser drawer. It's for... We're going to use it for extra storage. Uh, you probably see this, you know, they be talking about it on TikTok a lot. So, this is what it's going to look out like when it's all done. So, this is where we're at. He's built the frame. I helped a little bit, um, but he's mostly doing it. And, and then we're going to do, there's another box. I'm finding all the stuff I want my husband to put together. I think this is like a shoe rack from Amazon in this little box right here. So, this is the progress so far. Doing the drawers now. So, this is what I'm doing while he's working. I'm eating my popcorn and drinking my iced tea. You're doing a good job, babe. Look at this. This is got five more to go. I'm not on camera yet, guys, so because I'm I'm in my bonnet and I look but I can show y'all my face so that. See? I'm in my bonnet. How are you all? Hope you're having a good evening. And by the way, it's the next day after our um, anniversary dinner. So, just at home. I'm off work on a little mini vacation. So, just trying to do some things around the house. Um, mini vacation. Mini. I said mini. Or? Vacation. Oh, mini, oh, mini staycation, yeah. I'm not going anywhere, just kind of taking care of some things around the house and things I've been putting off that I need to do, which is getting my husband to build these things I need him to build. So, so just wanted to um, let y'all know what was going on. Um, so, more to come. So, they have um, quite a few things to do. Um, comment down below. Um, what do you all do when you have staycations? And then when you travel, um, where do you go? What's a good place to travel to? In-state and internationally. Let me know. Okay, last drawer. And then we're going to move it to this spot right here. Oh, it fits perfectly, I think. Oh, you got to unplug that stuff behind it. So this is the finished, finished product. Looks really good. I'm going to use it as storage and... I'm going to, um, you know, show you all later, probably today, uh, how I'm going to decorate this and just what I'm going to store in it. Um, so it's near the kitchen, so there's extra storage space for probably snacks and kitchen items, so. Thank you, babe. You did a good job. 
<laughs> okay, next on the next on to the next. <laughs> let's get it. Let's get it going. I think this is the um. I think this is the sh uh, shoe rack that we're gonna be keeping in the basement. Um, This has a lot of uh, pieces to them, so all the pieces, so it's going to be a lot of intricate putting together. See y'all at the end, or towards the end. Hey you guys, so we finally finished the shoe rack for the basement, and it was a lot to do. It was, it was a lot. It took us hours to because it was a lot of pieces. It seems like things were missing. But this is pretty much the finished product. And I don't know if I got this from Amazon or Wayfair. I can't remember. But, yep. That's it. Now we got to get it in the basement. It's pretty lightweight. So, we'll get it to the basement. There you go. We made some spaghetti squash, baked it in the oven, roasted it in the oven for the first time. Tomorrow I'm going to make the spaghetti sauce, so this is like one little one. I already scraped one half, and this is like the other half that I'm scraping. And it's supposed to be taste similar to spaghetti, so tomorrow I'm going to make the sauce to go with it. And I'll show you how tomorrow how it looks. Okay, so this is all the spaghetti squash that I scraped from the, after I cooked it in the oven. This is the actual spaghetti squash that I cooked. So, I'm gonna make the pasta sauce tomorrow. And Let y'all know how it tastes. I'm excited. got this woman within catalog every now and then they send it to me maybe once every couple of years and it's it's a plus size it's for plus sizes 12 to 44 but i don't know some of the outfits just seem like they're really cut big and maybe even like for an older older women um so let me know if any of y'all Ever order anything from the Woman Within catalog? Um, I'm just kind of going through and I'm really not seeing anything that I would wear. But, I mean, they got like the skirts with the, I think it's the elastic is waist. 
Well, maybe you can dress that up. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to look through the catalog and see. Like, everything just seems cut, like, big. Like, look at those shirts. Like, really, like, just big with no definition. I mean, the sweater looks kind of cute. So, yeah, let me know if anyone out there orders from Woman Within or, you know, if you have a style that you wear from something you bought from one with, within, let me know. Mm, hey, you guys. Having me a little, my morning breakfast. So. This is Ezekiel bread. Avocado and some eggs. Doing is giving you an invitation to come and be a part of his family. He doesn't ask you to write out a prescription of all the stuff you promised that you won't do anymore. Literally, he says, come to him just like you are. Bring it all with you. Accept Jesus Christ into your heart. Let him change you on the inside, make a miracle on the inside, and then he'll take you by the hand. He'll help you become holy. Thank you.